we are ready to put the base coat on our frame. Now the nice thing about the base coat is you don't have to paint the frame solid. Just make sure you shake up your paint, you squeeze it out on your wax paper, and I'm also going to use a dark green. If I've got some in here, I hope I do. It won't take very much. That's plenty. You get a lot of mileage out of these paints, I gotta tell you. And I'm also going to choose a yellow to get that third color to create a little more excitement. So, what you do is take your paper towel, have it ready. Just have a paper towel ready so that when you want to change colors, you can squeeze out your brush. Dampen your brush a little bit, and you can squeeze that little extra out. I'm going to start with a dark brown, and where I'm going to put this is on all of these high places that when I sand it would show the dark underneath. And it does not have to be perfect by any means. If you want to paint a lot of it, it's pretty easy to do. It's not necessary to paint it all. Just basically where you know that you're going to be sanding, which are your high edges, this higher detail trim here, like this. You can see that I'm not worrying about whether it's smooth because we want it to look a little old and a little rustic. What you can also do, looks like I need a little more brown paint. Wax paper makes it so nice because the cleanup is just fold up your paper and throw it away, wash out your brush. And I'm all for saving time and energy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wash the brown out, but I am going to go to my dark green. And I'm going to hit just a couple of places here and here so I can have some of this green showing through. When you're doing something like this, you do not want to space it evenly all the way around because that's unnatural. Wood does not weather in a natural way. Some areas take more weather and some areas take less. If you're using several colors, you want to keep th the number three in mind because if you have one, two, three, it creates kind of a triangle for your eye to follow. When you look at a frame, it will bring your eye all the way around the frame so that it looks balanced without even knowing it. So that's one thing that you want to keep in mind. Now I'm going to clean my, br or my sponge brush. Just dip it in the water, swish it around a little. It does not have to be perfectly clean. Squeeze the extra water out because basically we want to add just a little bit of yellow. Now I need to wait till this green is a little drier. And what you do is just add a little bit of yellow right here, overlap slightly on the green, and I'll show you how that works. And again, I'm doing my three, and you can make this very, very light. That is basically our base coat, and we are ready to go.